Hi, I'm Dave Butcher and I'm just going to show you how I will process uh, some medium format roll film which I've already loaded into this uh, Patterson uh, tank which takes five films at a time. Uh, before we make up the chemistry you've got to have some containers to put them in. Um, for this size tank I need two and a half litres of each one of the chemicals that I'm going to use for the process. That's developer, stop bath and fixer. So I need three buckets in effect <coughs> for the chemicals. So I've got one for developer, uh, one for fixer and between the two there's a stop bath. And then after I've uh, washed the film I have to rinse it to make sure that the uh, water runs off quickly without streaks so I, I use uh, a rinse bar. Now the, uh, the other thing you'll need are some measuring cylinders. Now for film processing you do actually need to measure your developer in particular quite accurately otherwise you'll get variable results. So I've got a, a second measuring cylinder here specifically for measuring the developer. The stop bath and um, fixer, I can just use that. And in fact for the rinse bath, I do actually need another one. I need this tiny one because a little uh, wetting agent for rinsing the film goes a very long way. So you need a, a small measuring cylinder or I do for that. And my chemistry, I use uh, Ilford, Ilfotec DDX. I was actually working for Ilford uh, when this came through, so I was the uh, technical manager who wrote part of the specification uh, for the chemical. I was looking after a lot of the technical side of the chemical products. Um, the overall brief for Ilfotec DDX was that it, it'd be a uh, a liquid version of ID11 which is a pretty standard developer been around since the 1930s um, but it's uh, powder so you have to make it up from uh, powder and water this is a liquid concentrate you pour it out and add water and stir and it's ready to go straight away and it uses modern chemistry so it's stable uh, in an unopened bottle for over two years um, the standard dilution is 1 plus 4 I actually use 1 plus 6 just to get a little bit more detail into the shadows. For the stop bath I use Ilford Ilfa Stop. This is uh, citric acid with a small amount of indicator so it's yellow in colour and uh, it uses a dilution of 1 plus 19 so that's 50 mils a litre. Um, the fixer I use is Ilford High Pam. I use this for uh, and the stop bath for, for film and paper and so uh, 1 plus 4 for film processing usually 1 plus 9 for paper processing and then for the rinse bath I use Ilford Ilfotol and uh, this needs about 10 mils to a litre for the washing I actually make, fill up buckets of tempered water so that because I'm using such a big tank the time it takes me to um, refill it after I empty it. I empty it every minute to make sure that I get, get good washing. Um, that takes a long time to fill up a two and a half litre tank so I have water in these buckets, pour it in uh, and then it's uh, properly washing for the whole time that I'm uh, going to be washing for. So my wash time is usually eight minutes in running water so, so that you don't get any air bells marks yeah. on your processed film and just just bang the tank like that and uh, the vibrations get rid of the uh, any bubbles you can bang it on the ground as well like that and that, that'll help shift any any bubbles you, you get uh, more problem with uh, air bells on steel tanks than you do on plastic so that's all the kit I need and obviously everything's done in daylight so it makes it a lot easier than making prints. Okay so now let's get started making up the chemistry. Now uh, some of the chemicals are skin irritants, the developer is a skin irritant 
So I'm not particularly keen on putting my fingers into, into that, so I'll wear gloves. And in fact, right the way through, I'm going to wear gloves for the processing just to protect my hands. Because uh, I have to handle um, prints and films on a regular basis in the darkroom. And the more often you do it, the more often you are, the more likely you are to get some sort of sensitivity to the chemicals coming up. But I've been doing it for hmm, nearly 40 years and I haven't got a sensitivity yet. Right, so let's make the, the uh, chemicals up in the order in which we're going to use them. So the developer is first and the fixer and then the rinse bath are the last ones. So it goes dev stop fix rinse. So now so we're going to make up the chemistry. Uh, the other thing that you really need to get control of is the temperature. So you should aim to be using the same temperature every time you process your, your films otherwise you're going to get variable results. So I've got um, a thermometer. The one thing I wouldn't use, I'm a chemist by training, uh, the one thing I wouldn't use in my darkroom is a mercury thermometer because if you break it it's really difficult to get rid of the mercury. Alcohol thermometers are much slower to adjust to te temperature changes than mercury ones. It's just they're a lot safer. Temperature is a lot less critical for black and white than for example colour slides but you still need to be pretty close on the uh, temperature and that's holding at 20.5 so I'll use that. So I need 357 mils of my developer. And that looks pretty much on the button for 357. I'm going to pour the developer into this big measuring cylinder and we're making it up to the mark. a litre. Two litres. Two and a half litres of developer. Stop bath next and it goes into this uh, white bucket. And then I want two and a half litres, 50 mils a litre. 125 mils. This one doesn't need to be as accurate because all it's doing is deactivating the developer so that the developer doesn't contaminate the fixer. Two and a half. That's the stop bath fixer. I need 500 mils of this, so it's one plus four in two and a half litres. I do this reasonably accurately, but it isn't a critical one. It's just stabilising your negatives so that they don't uh, print out to completely black. Two and a half litres of that. Now we want some uh, wetting agent. Uh, so this is a 25 mil graduate measuring cylinder and that's roughly what I want. This pour, I don't measure it, um, this thing uh, accurately. I just fill the uh, uh, tub up with water after I've poured in 25 mils and then it's, it's good enough. This is just to uh, up to near the top. So that's the very final rinse bath and fill up these buckets. At this time of year it's, uh, it's June in the UK so the water coming out of the tap is reasonably warm for washing. If it was uh, deepest winter with snow around then I'd probably use tempered water to uh, wash the film because the tap water would be down at about three or four degrees and that won't wash film very quickly or very easily. So it needs a bit of help. It needs to be at uh, seven or eight degrees and above and you're fine. And we're ready to go. So the next bit is uh, processing, pouring the stuff in and pouring it out again. 